Have you ever wondered what role Africa could play in the next generation of the internet, Web 3.0? It's a thought-provoking question, isn't it? Let's first unpack what Web 3.0 is. Picture a web that's more than just a collection of static pages, a web that's decentralized, intelligent, and interactive. This is the essence of Web 3.0. It's not just about consuming information, it's about participating in it. It's a space where data is shared and not owned, where intelligence is embedded, and where user experiences are personalized and interactive. Imagine this. You're scrolling through your favorite online store, and it's not just suggesting products based on your previous purchases, but it's predicting what you need before you even realize you need it. That's the power of Web 3.0, and it doesn't stop there. Web 3.0 has the potential to transform various sectors. In finance, for example, we're talking about decentralized finance or DeFi, that opens up financial systems to everyone, regardless of location or status. In education, imagine personalized learning experiences that adapt to each student's pace and style of learning. In healthcare, imagine patient data being securely shared and accessed by authorized healthcare providers, leading to faster, more accurate diagnoses and treatments. Web 3.0 is about breaking down barriers, democratizing access, and fostering innovation. It's about creating a web that works for everyone, not just a select few. It's about harnessing the power of technology to create a more equitable and inclusive world. The potential of Web 3.0 is immense, and it's right at our fingertips. As we stand on the precipice of this new frontier, it's impossible not to wonder about the role of different regions in shaping this future. In particular we turn our gaze towards Africa, a continent with a rapidly growing tech scene and a thirst for innovation. With the promise of such profound changes one cannot help but ponder what role Africa, a continent with a rapidly growing tech scene could play in this revolution. Africa is experiencing an unprecedented tech boom, but what does this mean for Web 3.0? This isn't just a question of technological advancement, it's a question of transformation. Africa's tech landscape is flourishing like never before. With increasing internet penetration and mobile usage, the continent is fast becoming a digital playground. And at the forefront of this digital revolution are tech startups, springing up like mushrooms after a rain shower. From Nairobi's Silicon Savannah to Lagos's Yabakan Valley, the tech hubs of Africa are buzzing with innovation. These startups aren't just replicating Western models, they're creating unique solutions tailored to African realities. They're developing apps for mobile money transfers, creating online platforms for farmers, and even using drones for medical deliveries. This innovation is not just changing Africa, it's changing the world. But why is this important for Web 3.0? Well, Web 3.0 is about creating a more decentralized and transparent digital world. It's about giving power back to the users. And who better to lead this charge than a continent that is already pushing the boundaries of innovation? As Africa's tech scene continues to flourish, so does its potential to shape the Web 3.0 landscape. With its vast young population, the continent is not just a huge market for Web 3.0 technologies, it's a breeding ground for new ideas. The same creativity that is currently transforming Africa's tech scene can also redefine Web 3.0. Moreover, Africa's tech boom is also attracting international attention. Global tech giants are setting up shop on the continent, while investors are pouring billions into African startups. This influx of resources and expertise can only accelerate Africa's journey into the Web 3.0 era. So, what does Africa's tech boom mean for Web 3.0? It means that Africa is not just a follower in the digital revolution, it's a leader. It means that the future of the internet could very well be shaped on this vibrant and innovative continent. With such a vibrant tech landscape, Africa stands poised to leapfrog into the Web 3.0 era. Now let's delve deeper into the intersection of Africa and Web 3.0. In essence, Web 3.0 is the next evolutionary phase of the Internet, and it's all about decentralization, data sovereignty, and interoperability. This new Web paradigm could be the key to addressing some of Africa's long-standing challenges. Let's consider financial inclusion first. Across the continent, a significant number of people lack access to traditional banking services. Enter Web 3.0 with its decentralized financial systems or DeFi for short. DeFi has the potential to bring financial services to the unbanked and underbanked, offering them an opportunity to participate in the global economy. It's like building a bank with no walls, 
accessible to anyone with an internet connection. Next, let's talk about education. With the advent of Web 3.0, the quality of education can be significantly improved. Imagine learning resources that are not confined by geographic boundaries, enabling students in remote areas to access world-class educational materials. Additionally, blockchain technology can be used to secure and verify academic credentials, making the process more transparent and less susceptible to fraud. On to healthcare, another sector where Web 3.0 could make a significant impact. Imagine a future where patients own their health data and can share it securely with healthcare providers. This could lead to more personalized care, improved diagnoses, and ultimately, better health outcomes. Moreover, the transparent nature of blockchain could help in tracking the supply chain of drugs, ensuring they are genuine and safe. The decentralization characteristic of Web 3.0 could empower African individuals and businesses. It provides a platform for innovation, where entrepreneurs can create solutions tailored to local contexts without the need for intermediaries. This could spur a wave of homegrown innovations, transforming the continent's digital landscape. In the intersection of Africa and Web 3.0, we see the outlines of a digital revolution, one that could transform the continent and uplift millions of people. The potential for impact is immense, and the stage is set for Africa to leapfrog into the future. Indeed, the marriage of Africa and Web 3.0 presents a compelling narrative of transformation and empowerment. However, every revolution comes with its set of challenges and opportunities. How does this apply to Africa and Web 3.0? Web 3.0 promises to be a game changer, but it's not without its hurdles, especially for a continent as diverse and dynamic as Africa. One of the main challenges is infrastructure. While there's been significant growth in internet connectivity across the continent, there's still a digital divide. In many rural areas, internet access is still limited or non-existent. This lack of connectivity infrastructure can hinder the adoption and full utilization of Web 3.0. Another challenge is regulatory hurdles. For Web 3.0 to thrive, there needs to be a supportive legal and regulatory framework. However, in some African countries, there's a lack of clear regulations around digital technologies. This uncertainty can deter investment and slow down innovation. Finally, there's the issue of digital literacy. Web 3.0 is highly technical, and for people to take full advantage of it, they need to understand how it works. Unfortunately, many Africans, particularly those in remote areas, lack this knowledge. This digital literacy gap can limit the number of people who can participate in the Web 3.0 revolution. But it's not all challenges. There are also incredible opportunities. One of the most significant is job creation. Web 3.0 has the potential to generate new jobs in areas like coding, web development, and digital marketing. These are jobs that can be done from anywhere, providing opportunities for remote work. Increased global visibility is another opportunity. Web 3.0 can help African businesses and creatives reach a global audience, breaking down geographical barriers and opening up new markets. And let's not forget economic growth. With the right infrastructure, regulations, and education, Web 3.0 could drive significant economic growth in Africa. It could foster innovation, attract investment, and create a more vibrant digital economy. Despite these challenges, the opportunities for Africa in the Web 3.0 era are immense. So, what does the future hold for Africa in the era of Web 3.0? As we look forward, we see a future where Africa is not just participating in the Web 3.0 revolution, but leading it. African tech startups are already building on the foundations of Web 3.0, using decentralization, transparency, and interoperability to solve unique problems and address untapped markets. Take, for example, the blossoming fintech scene. With the majority of Africans still unbanked, blockchain technologies provide a secure and accessible way to bring financial services to the masses. From mobile money platforms to decentralized finance solutions, African entrepreneurs are leveraging blockchain to leapfrog traditional banking systems and empower their communities. And it's not just fintech, in sectors as diverse as agriculture, education, and healthcare, African innovators are harnessing the power of Web 3.0 to drive change. They're using smart contracts to ensure fair trade for small-scale farmers. They're utilizing decentralized networks to broaden access to quality education. They're employing blockchain-based systems to improve health data management and patient care. 
But the potential for Africa's involvement in Web 3.0 goes beyond just startups. With a young, tech-savvy population, Africa stands at the forefront of a new digital labor market. From web development to blockchain coding, African talent is poised to contribute significantly to the global digital economy in the Web 3.0 era. Furthermore, the continent's rich cultural heritage provides a goldmine for the burgeoning field of non-fungible tokens or NFTs. African artists, musicians, and creators can leverage Web 3.0 to gain global recognition and monetize their work in unprecedented ways. The road to this future won't be without its bumps. Infrastructure, regulatory, and educational challenges remain. But with the right investments, partnerships, and policies, these hurdles can be overcome. In the grand scheme of things, Africa's role in the Web 3.0 revolution could be far more significant than we can currently envision. Africa is not just catching up to the digital world, it's poised to shape it, in its own image, and to its own advantage. And that's a future worth striving for. If you enjoyed this video, please like, share, and comment. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell to keep up with the latest content.